सो हेलो देर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हर शेयर बैक विथ एट अनदर इजी टूटोरियल एट रोबोटेक एंड यू मस्ट हैव सीन द न्यू सेटअप दैट आई हैव गॉट एट दिस स्मॉल स्टडी रूम इन माई होम सो आई जस्ट कन्वर्टेड इट टू माई यूट्यूब स्टूडियो वॉट अ बोया वी वाई एम वन टू इम्प्रूव द ऑडियो क्वालिटी आई हैड अ डी एस एल आर सो बेसिकली वॉट अ ट्राई पॉड टू सेट इट अप एंड ऑल दैट इज डन आई ऑलरेडी हैड अ लैपटॉप सो देन putting it all together i finally have a youtube studio you all may call it so without wasting time let us get on to our youtube screens and let's see how to copy and paste files using the command line in the raspberry pi so let us get started so now you all are seeing the vnc viewer and i am using the ip address of my raspberry pi to uh, log in into it so i must have changed the password so let us enter the new one let's hit on enter we are here so i have the default password only because i have just headlessly booted into it the first time so like it's giving me the error because i have not gone through the usual setup stuff so i will just ignore that and let us open up the terminal without wasting time and get the screen into the center right here Uh, it's not the center basically kind of center yes of course so first let us create a file using the things that we saw in the last video on how to create the files so we'll be using the cat command as we saw in the last video so cat greater than symbol the name of the file so i'll just name it new dot txt and let's hit on enter so it will this will create new dot txt file in the current directory and here we if we want to type in some details like some stuff into the file so we can do it directly in the cat as we saw in the last video so i'll just type in my text you all type in yours if you all want anything so i'll just go and and typing i am testing uh, then enter and then control c out of here so now let us read the file so to do that cat new dot txt and let's hit on enter so as you all can see it says i am testing so the file has been successfully created so first let us see how to copy this file from the current location that is the slash home slash pi uh, indicated by this uh, asterisk sign here as you all can see uh, asterisk sorry i am saying tilde the tilde sign here uh, represents that uh, we are in the home directory that is the slash home slash pi directory so let us use the ls command to list whatever it is there in this directory so as you all can see we have this new dot txt file that we created so now let us copy it from this directory to the home directory that is just directory earlier so like if we see the current uh, way how the fire tilde works is like we are in slash home slash pi so here we have made the file new.txt so now from slash home slash pi we will copy it to slash home so will it will be available in both the uh, directories so let us do that so sudo to become the super user and get the administrative rights then type in cp to copy and then the name of the file and if possible enter it with uh, the destination uh, i mean the entire location so that if you are in some other location you are, you are trying to copy the files from other location still it understands from where you are trying to copy it so for example i will show you all that in the uh, video ahead so let us do that so sudo cp and here the name of the file was new.txt and then the destination so that was slash home let's hit on enter so it is copied so now let us do cd slash home to go into the home directory and here again let us use the list command to list so as you can see we have got the new dot txt file as you can see over here so we have got the new dot txt file here let us again use the cat command to check what is in the new dot txt file and let's hit on enter so as you can see it's i am testing and again if we go to slash Uh, home slash pi that is the tilde directory you will still have uh, the new dot txt file there because like we have kept it there we have copied it and not moved it so let us see and uh, let us go as you all can see we are in slash home slash pi now uh, let us use the cat command again to read the new dot txt file so here as you all can see again i am testing is available so it's there in both the locations now i am going i am going again uh, i am removing the file from here that's i am deleting it so sudo rm i am not teaching you all here i have, I have another video in the pi hack series on how to remove and delete the files folders etc so you all can check that out i am just doing it over here quickly so sudo rm 
uh, new dot txt so i'm removing that file i don't know why it's taking some time but i i guess i have uh, some internet issues yes it's successfully deleted so now if you do ls you will have no new dot txt file here as you all can see there is no new dot txt file so now let us see if i am want to copy move the file directly from the home directory without i am not going to the home directory if you are getting what i am saying i am not going to the home home directory but from there by typing the entire destination i will moving the file from home directory to this tilde directory that is the slash home slash py directory so let us see i am not going there i repeat and let us become the sudo uh, super user by typing in sudo mv is the command for move cp was for copy then name of the file but here we just don't have to enter the name of the file entire location that was slash home slash new dot txt and then the name of the location so that would be slash home slash py and location the destination where you want to copy or move the file always has to be the complete location and from where you are copying depends or moving it depends if you are in that very directory you don't need to enter the entire location but if you are in some other directory and then you are performing the tasks from there you surely need to enter the entire location like i did now so let us do this as you all can see it's here now so let us again if we do ls from this directory we will have the new dot txt uh, file as you all can see and if, again i do cat and new dot txt and hit on enter as you all can see i am testing so we have successfully learned how to copy and move the files using the terminal in the raspberry pi i hope you all like the video don't forget to like share subscribe and of course tell me if you like my new setup thank you guys